Hey guys, welcome back. Carl here. Today in SQL, we're going to be doing the case expression. The case expression goes through conditions and return a value when the first condition is met, just like an if then else statement. So once the condition is true, it will stop reading and return the result. If no conditions are true, it returns the value in the else clause. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to go select all from sales f5 in this case statement exercise we're going to be using all the columns so id card type store category and amount and the ones that i'm going to be pulling my case statement from is this store category and what we're going to be basically doing is we're going to take everything that has store in it and categorizing that as the store and if it doesn't have store in it, we're just going to be calling it the other. And we're going to be doing that with our case statements. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first we're going to say select. And instead of select all this time, we're going to say ID, card type, store category. And then we're going to do amount. The next thing we're going to do is our case statement. So we're just going to say case win. And then the one we're going to be using is store category. So we're going to say store category. We know we're going with the store category. Now we want to basically give it some instructions. And I want to say when it's like store. So basically anything that has store in it. So remember, in previous exercises we use the like clause so we're gonna say like and then we're gonna go single quotes put our parentheses first and then let's do store because if you can see grocery store retail store and grocery store has store in it so we want to find anything with the word store in it and then we're gonna say case when store category is like store then the next thing is we're basically replacing that store category, grocery store, retail store, and we're going to replace that with store. So we're going to say then call it. Now we're giving it what to call it. So we're going to call it store. We don't want to have it all caps. We just want to call it that. And the next thing we want to do is we just want to flip the other one. So we want electronics, dealership, miscellaneous, and online to be other. So we're going to do when store category and instead of like this time i'm going to say not like and then we're going to say store remember that percent sign first and then we're going to call this one no all caps other next thing we want to do is say else and then just say store category And then we want to give it a column. We want to give that column a name. So we're going to say end as, let's just call it store. Actually, we don't need single quotes for this. Store versus other. And then we want to go from sales. So let's go ahead and, oh, I spelled them out wrong. All right, that'll fix that. F5. So now if you guys pay attention to this, what we have is we have a new column that was just created using our case statement. And that new column is store versus other. And as we can see, electronics is other and everything with store in it is actually store so we have grocery store as store retail store store and then we have the other grocery store and retail store as store while everything else is set to other now you guys know how to use a case statement in sql